I am Sexy Biscuits, and welcome into The Godfather 2. I previously did a video on The Godfather on PC, and in that video, I said that I wanted to do a video on The Godfather 2, so I bought it on the PS3. So without further ado, let's jump into this. I'm gonna say right now, I don't think this is going to connect. Yeah, I was right. Okay, uh, this game came out in 2009, 2008. So yeah, this game definitely can't connect to the internet anymore. The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This will be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. And here is Dominic, so I'm guessing I can modify his face. Did this have a really stupendous name, like Mob Face or something? <laughs> Isn't that what this is called? I can't remember. It's been a very long time. Okay, so I'm gonna pick some hair here. Ah, oh, okay, you know what? We're gonna go for the pompadour. Make my dad proud, okay. I always like five o'clock shadow. I always think it looks quite handsome. So you are gonna go for some five o'clock shadow there. Oh, we can choose their clothes as well. Okay, so you've got standard t-shirts. We've got polo shirts. We have sweaters. Very fancy. I quite like that one, actually. Could I go for a solid black on this? I think that'll look really nice. Ooh, okay. I quite like that. Although he looks kind of modern with that on. It doesn't look like the 1970s, but okay. Yeah, I was right. It's called Mob Face. <laughs> it's like that bloody game. What is it? War Face. I don't like it when they just add the word face to things. Okay, so I've picked out this. I think it's very fancy. Nice 1950s long coat. And you've got the lovely linen trousers there. Brilliant. Also, I added some flavor with a burgundy tie. Very fancy. Bring it here. Let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. May you live to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. Congratulations. Salute. Well... The doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all hotels. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this that now we have what we have always needed. Real partnership with a government. Salute. Cheers. Salute. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interests in the Cuba operation to you, my partners. To the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Grazie. The Nationale will go to Rico Granados and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. Lachaim. Jindan, salute. Okay, so we're finally in gameplay and first impressions. Yeah, this looks all right. I did notice, though, that there's some weird pixelation on the water over there. Can you see that? I don't know what's causing that. Also, frame rate isn't the best. I'd say this is probably around 25 FPS. But it is running on a PS3 as opposed to a PC. All right, let's go talk to Michael Corleone. How are you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're going to do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. 
The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year's celebration. You should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. I found the area where the frame rate's the worst. <laughs> That's about 15, I think. Oh boy, I did hear that this game wasn't the best optimized. Uh, that was something that I did know about this game. I think I played this when it released, and then I only played it a couple of times. So I don't remember much, to be completely honest. It feels weird not having Crouch on Circle or something like that. It's kind of weird that it's on the left analog stick, but that was how games were back then. I remember quite a lot of games used the left analog stick instead of for sprinting. They used it for crouching. I'm guessing we have Grand Theft Auto to blame for that, because that game uses X to run too. I got a bad feeling being here. Look, I'll be better after tomorrow. Let's get this New Year stuff over with, finish the deal, and go back to New York. Don't worry, Aldo. Everything will be absolutely fine. Due to serious setbacks to our troops in Guantanamo and Santiago, my position in Cuba is untenable. I am resigning from office to avoid further bloodshed. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, yep, yeah, right, I forgot. It's X. Uh, press L1 for left punch. Press R1 for right punch. Okay. Oh, this guy. Hello! They just punch in the face. I, I don't know why I'm attacking you. He literally did nothing wrong, but okay. Hasn't he ever heard of using the bloody handle? What the hell? I've just remembered I've got the six axis controller. Can I whack him around? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so if I was to, eh, no, go, go over, go over there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found a use for motion. Jeez. Okay, uh, can I push him against here? No, 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 push him. God, this is so inaccurate. Okay, push. Push! No, push him! Push him! Oh my god. Really? I see now why six axis was never really used in other games. Oh my god, this is tiring. <sighs> okay, you know what? We're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. Come here, you bastard. <coughs> and you see, boys, that's how you do it. One quick kick to the nuts. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. R1 to fire, R2 to reload. Okay. Oh yeah, this was when R1 and L1 were used for weapons. Because the PS3 controller had terrible triggers. Your fingers honestly slip off them so bloody easily. <laughs> this is using a similar system to the original game, which I always liked. Okay, let's take that guy out. <laughs> it's still not as good as uh, Scarface's though. Scarface's combat is so bloody good. After playing Scarface, I really can't come to another... <laughs> Okay. Oh, I was hoping there was someone around here that I could assassinate. Here we go. Oh, that guy fell on fire! Oh, that's awesome. Use phone. Yes, yes. Please help. We're under attack. Hello? Hang on. Who is this? It is I, Don Salieri. God damn it. Wrong number. Sorry. What have I told you about prank calling me, Tommy? Okay, bye. Okay, well, that was bloody awkward. Um, <laughs> what are you... <laughs> oh, yes. Kick that wall. Bastard! Oh, I hate you all! Nice! Oh god, that guy- <laughs> I- <laughs> Oh god! I was only trying to apologize! Ow! Are they literally shouting revolution and kicking a brick wall? <laughs> Why? The, what? This was probably here before all this! What even is that? Okay. Oh my god, this game is amazing. Oh, oh, we can go for an execute on this guy. You ready? Not so tough. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're still as good as they used to be. Awesome. Wait up, I can get us through here. Leave him. We have to go. 
Everyone's trying to get out. Look, Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. That's a terrible mistake. Dominic, I want you to be boss. And I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died. died. No, no, that was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli, you've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Sorry, that just seemed fitting. Hello, Frank Pan... Pan... Panties? Pa Pantel... Pantagelli? Pen... Pen... Pentanglia? Tanglia from Pokemon. Frank. I'm gonna take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a Stugatz. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? No. All it tells me is that Carmine's got some loyal men. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. Bone saw is ready! <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted very easily. Okay, so let's go hire our first member of our mafia. We got Glasses McGee over here, and we, we, we got Teleporty McGee. <laughs> Sticky McGee. <laughs> and we've got Other Glasses Guy. What do you have to say for yourself, Roy? I've heard good things about you, Dominic. You take care of you guys. I've got to be honest, I can't take those glasses seriously. What exactly is your background? I did a hitch in Sing Sing a few years back. Know what I learned? Prison stinks and fistfights hurt. That's why I always carry a piece. 
Wow, what a tantalising story. Okay, uh, not right now. Okay, Joe, I'm going to be honest, you've got the job. But just tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm not too dumb and I'm not too smart. I know what I know, you know? Yeah, you're not helping your case, but yeah. Um, what's your background? In all the crews I've been in, I'm the or else guy. You can give the boss his money or else you can give it to me. And I take a pound of flesh for my troubles. Okay, let's be honest, you're both bloody moronic, but you seem to be the smarter one out of the two. Oh, so you're not wearing stupid glasses. Serious? You want me in? Yes, you're in. Welcome to the Biscuit Mafia. That's the name of this mafia now. <laughs> the Biscuit Mafia. It's perfect. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business, and eliminate any rival family who stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf and try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family, improve your crew member's skills, and hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rings. Do this and you'll know what it means to be called the Don. Okay, so our first location is the Sweet Life Bakery. I gotta say right now, they better make biscuits over bloody pretzels. And if someone called Barbara works there, I'm throwing her out the bloody window. Okay, so we've got a waypoint to the Biscuit Bakery. Let's head over there. Okay, so I'm gonna say right now, um, yeah, frame rate's not great. Also, this place looks nothing like the Godfather 1. Now, yes, I know it takes place about 30 years later, but this doesn't look like New York whatsoever. Did I just go past it? We literally just left! How close was this bloody place? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let me get this straight. Our house is right there, and the place we need to take over... <laughs> What's that term? Don't crap on your own doorstep. Good God. God, these guys are bloody useless. Right, you stay here. If the car gets damaged, I'll come round your house and break all your toys. Get out of my way. What you doing down there, huh? Okay. <laughs> come on! <laughs> okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. You killed him. Are you happy with yourself? Hmm? I take that as a no. Hello, it's I, Henry, bailiff of Biscuit Town. No, wrong game. Damn it, there's no one bloody here. Although, this is a great opportunity to see what they make. Okay, so we've got some pancakes? No, are they pies? Yeah, like a pie, right? A US pie, because pies here are meat-based. This is definitely not. Why do they call at Christmas mince pies mince pies when there's no bloody mince in them? Sorry, it's always annoyed me to the point I have so many questions right now. I, I have so many. Anyway, back to my very important rant about mince pies. I don't understand. I tried them and they have bloody sultanas and berries and stuff in them. That's not mince. Okay, so they've got some bread. Is that parallax? No. <laughs> no, it's a bumpy texture. Okay, it's kind of parallax. I'm going to say that's actually pretty believable from that angle. Well done, game. What do you think you're doing? What do I think I'm doing? Hmm, let me think about that for just one second. Tell me what I want to know, you bastard! Lights out. Nobody hits me. Come here. <laughs> All right, Mac, I give up. They don't have to die. You give up, do you? Okay, let me... Hang on, all the swing in this controller around's really made me quite tired out. <laughs> oh. Go easy on him. Oh, bloody hell, it's gonna take me ages to get back there. Okay, we arrived. Right, stay there and don't beat up all the cops. Is he firing at someone? Is he what is happening out here? I leave you alone for three bloody seconds and you got blood all over the car! What are you doing? Why did I hire you? Is your name Barbara? I don't trust you. My I want people. Now. Okay, okay. I'll let you through. We're at peace. How long? Hey, it's up to you. Don't Nobody go- <laughs> Flint. Oh, flirt. <laughs> I thought that said Flint. Flint. Hello, you sexy Flint. How's it going? 
Look at this guy. Really? Are you serious right now? You want to take me on with my motion controls? Screw you! Hey, stop! Pummel! Come on, <laughs> oh! Oh, that is, feels really bloody good, though. The combat in this game is a lot of fun. I have the nightstick, don't I? Oh, suck it! Okay, yeah, combat's pretty bloody awesome. I'm gonna say it right now. I love your name. It's very fancy. Okay, give me what I want. The easy way or the hard way. Oh, hey, nice golf club. <laughs> really? Are you trying to take me on? Lights out. Oh! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Think you can run this place under my nose and not send a little my way? Big fucking mistake. Now hand it over. All right, you want this place, it's yours. I can add guards? Uh, yeah. Let's add three guards in here. Perfect. Gotta keep the biscuit bakery safe. So what are my initial thoughts on this? I really like this. I think this is pretty bloody good. I want to hear what you guys think. I will probably be returning to this because I think this could make for a, a fun little series. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself playing this game. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me, Bakery. <laughs> they almost look 3D. That is so impressive.